All right, quick update on Stronger. So it looks like since our last video, we came down and hit my next price target. Honestly, every single time we make a price target for Stronger, we literally hit it within two days. Like, I mean, this has been, this has been pretty funny on what's been going on so far. I mean, when we were in this accumulation range, we were calling for a move down to this fib. Once we broke below this fib, we were talking about coming down to these fibs, at which point we were talking about a move down to the 4.236 at this level. Let me remove that price target move. And then most recently, if you watch my past couple of videos, we were talking about, you know, this move back down to the bottom of this accumulation range. And once again, another absolutely perfect accumulation range which has played out to the teeth like it has every other time we've talked about it so what do i personally see going on for stronger right now because while yes we did hit my next price target i was about to come on because when i clicked on uh deck screen or when i started typing in stronger as i saw because it, it takes a you know a while to update like it, i think it shows the price from like eight hours ago so it showed that the price was like 25 dollars. i was like okay you know it looks like i'll be making my video about my next price target down here at the bottom of this ab equals cd pattern but it looks like we've already come down and tagged it so we really really need to hold this level before we do jump into this let's talk about how we were previously able to call this target and i'll make this uh make this one fairly quick because you can see you know we had accumulation range came up to the upper fib band came down to the bottom fib band broke down uh, accumulation range came up to the upper fib double rejection from the upper fib this time it was the 2.618 and what did we do from there broke down to the bottom of the accumulation range and broke down again now this is where it slightly switches up because we did not see a textbook accumulation phase we actually saw redistribution we had a mark up distribution mark down redistribution and then we went into a accumulation phase where the price was once again just accumulating now what did we do in this accumulation phase well chop accumulation we came up to the upper fib band in this case it was the 4.236 what did we do after that we broke down to the bottom of the accumulation range what did we do after that broke down confirmed the breakdown and we moved down to our next price target which I've been talking about for a very very long period of time I didn't talk about it being my next price target in yesterday's video or was it the day before? I think it was two days ago uh, we made a video for Stronger. But it seems like we've already come down to my price target at $14. So the chart on Stronger is really, really terrible. This is, I mean, this is starting to look like strong now. I mean, I, I would not be touching this whatsoever. That's just my opinion. I think, you know, my if you've watched my channel for a prolonged period of time, I, I think you know my opinion on Strong and Stronger. I, I think at least if you're going to be buying this, I think maybe waiting for a trend reversal is the smartest thing that you could possibly do because w since I started making videos on Stronger, we were at $150 and I was saying I would be looking to buy this at some point, but I'd want to see a clear uptrend and a reversal from this downwards move that we're seeing. What did we see? We saw all-time high accumulation range breakdown, breakdown, and now another breakdown. And if you watch my videos for the past month initially, I think once we broke down into this accumulation phase, we were like, okay... You know, historically, when we moved up and we did break out of this accumulation range, the worst we did is get rejected from the upper fib, which in this case was between your 618 or 786. So at that moment in time, I think as we broke down to this accumulation range, we moved our buy target up. We were initially talking about buying breakouts at 115. We broke down into a new accumulation range. or We, we were in a redistribution phase and we said... I would not be interested in picking any up until we broke above $84. And the beauty of this is now that as we've broken down from another accumulation range, we get to move down our buy target once again. The whole point of this is recognizing that the trend is your friend until the end. A lot of people bought the day of the mint at $150. Some people bought up here at $200. I prefer to look at the chart from a very unemotional perspective. I don't bring my emotions into it. I look at the data like a robot. If it looks bearish, I call it how it is, and it looks terrible right now. We're down to the AB equals CD, which if I pull this up on the one hour time frame, it is slightly hard to see. This was a very, very long time ago, and it took a while, but you can see we've got an A, B, 
C with a price target down here of D. And it took a, a decent period of time. I mean, if you come over to the daily, it definitely looks better. But yeah, I mean, it, it, it took a while to, to bleed out to those levels. Um, stronger, really, really not looking good. Uh, it keeps on drawing on my screen. So yeah, I, I mean, I, I really don't have much to say about stronger at this moment in time. The funny thing is, I, I literally can't give you any more price targets at this moment in time and I mean you know I it's there's there's no more fibs below us we've completed this AV equals CD this is done and for and from your first swings in the market your lowest macro fibs was down here at $41 so at which point you know we were running off micro fibs this most recent low to this high and yeah technically I could pull up a fib and it would be valid if I did something like this and it also would be valid if I did something like this but at which point I'd be running off like 12 hours worth of a data swing and I, I really don't think that I would be providing any value to you if I told you you know this momentum swing uh, or this mark up that took eight hours or this low from this high from 12 hours has any significance whatsoever so I'm not going to be drawing things that don't need to be drawn in my opinion they would be invalid they wouldn't have much confluence in the market at all the fibs that we have previously drawn you can see we always converge between them and every time you break down you can see these Fibonacci's are perfectly respected that we've drawn so I'm not going to just draw a Fibonacci for the sake of it and diminish uh, the content that I'm trying to make I think less said is more in this case and looking at the volume there's no bullish volume coming in for this again it's very very flat volume tons of people selling their profits all the time on this uh, the gas fees on strong uh, through the roof sure you can try and time it at the perfect time but I feel like if strong block the project strong block including strong and stronger wants to survive I feel like they should incorporate like a multi-chain where you know th there's a million one different ways they can do this I mean they wouldn't even necessarily have to move away from the ETH system they could perhaps have like a way of distributing rewards to holders in different blockchains and you could have a blockchain of choice you could claim your rewards you could support because the whole point about it is supporting blockchain so you could support the ethereum blockchain with you know your eth node and you could have your because strong and stronger they're two different tokens anyway so if you're going to be claiming stronger tokens which is different from strong then why couldn't you why shouldn't you be able to claim wrap stronger on the solana blockchain or wrap longer on the avax blockchain and pay you know one dollar for an avax fee or pay you know 0 0.0001 cent on the solana blockchain so i mean i i've there's a million one different ways they could turn this project around but instead of doing things like that they're just increasing the ponzi nomics by moving over to a new chain moving the the rewards over to this to try and give strong value and it just hasn't worked out it's really not looking well and you know when i say that I'd be a buyer at this level. That is what the technical analysis would be saying. The technicals would make sense if I bought at this level, but just so you know, I'm I'm not looking to buy strong or stronger. So take that with a grain of salt. However, the analysis that I'm giving you is coming from someone who does not hold strong, who does not hold stronger, who does not have a strong node. So my analysis is 100% unbiased. I don't gain anything from saying we're bullish or bearish. And if you think about it, if I just titled this video, stronger has found its bottom, the last fib is in, AB equals CD complete, is moon next, everyone will click on this video and like it. But you know, instead of that, I'm not the YouTuber who's clickbaiting, lying and hyping up BS nonsense. I'm the person who's keeping it real and you know the chart looks like dog water I've got to say it how it is this chart is trash the stronger chart is trash the, the strong chart is trash and at some point sure they could have a reversal but the trend is your friend till the end the point of the matter is we've been calling for lower price targets since 150 and you know now we're down here at $22 it feels like strong all over again when we were at $270 strong we were calling for $70 when we were at $70 we were calling for $14 and now strong is at like $20 not looking good for either of them so there's a multitude of ways stronger and strong could fix a lot of their issues but 
they're not doing it so you know until some major changes happen i would not be touching strong and stronger that's all i've got for you today as always not financial advice cowboy out peace